Mm -hmm. uh, so for those who have uh, started from the beginning this path, remember that two years ago, exactly this same day, February 2nd, 2020, we got together, a group of friends, um, we got together to anchor this energy of the nodes and the consciousness um, inside some crystals. So those crystals could be like anchors delivered in 12 parts of the world, the 12, the 12 main um, portals of the planet. So we could anchor everything that we are going to do in February. So at the same time as the pandemic started, the two poles aligned. And of course, the magnetical one is already moving to Russia, but um, <clears throat> but the process started there with this alignment. Is well, you you have the physical one and then the magnetical one. Um, so the first one uh, to understand is um, the physical pole. So the physical one is the one that. Um, that um, shows the the two um, uh, the, the two um, sides of the, of the planet. So when the planet spins, these are the two zero degrees, north of north and south, north in in the north of Greenland, five kilometer of uh, five hundred kilometers from here, and then in the bottom of Antarctica. So those are the two spots where as the planet spins, um, these are the ones that it looks like they are not spinning because there's no movement almost there. So uh, that's why they are the physical ones. It's a point of reference in a sphere that is moving. So, and the other axis of the world is the magnetical one. The magnetical one is always moving uh, because the center of the planet is spinning, okay? Um, and that creates that the magnetical pole starts to move around. So sometimes it's in Canada, sometimes in Alaska, sometimes in Greenland, and now it's heading to Russia. So what is important about this time that when these two poles, when these two axes get together, it's like if you um like if the planet gets in coherence because the physical pole which is like the body is aligned with the magnetical pole which is like kind of the soul so the soul and the body gets together aligned one another and that's coherence it's like <clears throat> both of the most important bodies get together so remember that during this whole year 2020 2021 i have been in egypt physically to anchor the axis of, of spirituality between i am i am i am every day okay so what we have done all this time has been building this uh, axis of the spiritual level and now this is very important because i came physically here to this um to, to this spot so we could connect with the physical axis of the planet and with the network to um the axis in egypt we got together to anchor this energy of the nodes and the consciousness um inside some crystal one of the crystals is this one which has the dodecahedron and icosahedron together creating the pattern of the flower of life, the seed of life. The other one is a pure crystal from the mines of Brazil, which is pure and you can see some colors inside because of the light. So there we Put all the data and information that we are willing to download and the third one which is uh, blue obsidian from Mexico 
So this crystal reminds us about the blue ones, which were the group of Atlanteans that taught everything to humans to build pyramids and everything. So um, that's why in their memory, we put this energy with the other spheres. So the other persons that are uh, connecting the, they also have each one of them two spheres like these ones that they will put in the world and their own blue crystal that will also uh, be seated in um, each one of the faces of the planet. What I'm going to do is to put these three crystals here in Svalbard as a way of anchoring this information from the soul, the body and the spiritual axis. So the three are together. So the main thing why we do this is because um, the north of the planet, where we are heading to, is changing. The physical one is not. It will always be in the same spot. But the magnetical one is moving. So that means that what we usually move to our north is lost we have lost our north so we have to find it again and we have to align us again with the north um so sometimes when i explain this some of you might think we are doing this to save the world or to do something to align the, the entire planet and it's not it's not what we are doing uh, Humans are not something that lives in a planet called Earth. Humans are Earth. We are Earth. That's something that has to get inside of our minds. We are not on Earth. We are Earth. And, and when we understand this, we will... Um, we will get the idea that we are not saving the world, that we are trying to align with the world. So when the magnetical North Pole moves, usually the species, the animals, change their migration. They change the places where they are heading to. But we humans, we don't migrate like we used to do. We think, so we change our North, we change our purpose. That's why we are the neurons of the planet, we are the thinkers, we are the mind of this world. So if this world is changing its north, it means that we have to adapt to that new vision. That's why we use spirituality, culture, these actions that we are doing as a kind of a symbolism to realign ourselves into the new things that are coming in the future. Hmm? So it's not about saving anything, it's about aligning us to something new. Um, 